Who, uh, who rep today? What, what did your quarterback reps look like? Uh, we're getting them all ready. Uh, Heinrich was limited uh, today. He got to be out there, though, and go get a lot of mental reps. Uh, Chubba and Jeff both uh, split the reps today in team periods and, and did a really nice job. What's the key as a coach when you know, Jeff has some turnovers when he's been out there to, to working with that mental part, I guess, of the game with him getting ready for the next one? Well, I'm not a psychologist, so I can't really major in that. You just keep coaching, and for him, he just keeps playing. And uh, you know, you, obviously, we don't want to turn the ball over. And we can't turn the ball over. And you just, you know, as me, my job is just to keep coaching them and making sure that I'm giving him every opportunity to be successful. So I've got to, you know, if it's how I, cha- how I change how I talk to him during the game, during the practice week, whatever it is, I have to make sure that I'm giving the young man the best chance to go out there and be successful. Can you speak to the challenge that, that Chubba had in, um, in coming in in a tie game in the fourth quarter at the three yard line without the practice reps that the other guys have had? And- that drive. It's amazing. I texted him after the game and said that was absolutely amazing because I, I can't pro- like I, maybe one or two of those plays he had gotten a rep on that week this no, this past week and he you know he went out I said it all the time like I trust him to go in all three of them are going to have to play and you know backed up in the pistol and the snap was a little high the one time he had to make a really tough catch uh, to get the play started but it was just really really that was that was a very impressive thing for me to watch. And uh, he did a really nice job of getting us down there with a chance to score. How did you feel at, at, at the start of that? I mean, were you were you concerned? I know you say you have confidence in him, but just considering the situation, um, what was your what was your mindset like? Uh, attack. I told coach. I said, "Hey, coach, how you want to play this?" You know, because we were backed up, and I didn't really mean it as much about Chubb is in. How do you want to play? As much as just we're backed up here. How do we want to play it? He's like, "Attack, man, go win the game. Go win the game." And that's kind of the mindset we had. Even we didn't care who was in there playing quarterback and. You know, Chubb was in there, and he did. A, we tried to give him every opportunity to win, and he did a nice job doing so. How long has he been full go? Uh, he's uh, he may have been. We may have limited him here and there, just you know, to make sure that he doesn't pull a muscle or strain anything. But he's always out there practicing. There's never been a time if we needed him that he couldn't be out there and couldn't go. What would you say is the root cause of a lot of these turnovers? <clears throat> I think just experience and decision making, and I think that all it's easy to to stand up here and say, well, it's. It's the, you know, it's the quarterback's fault. Well, ultimately, I take full responsibility because I've got to train these guys into making sure they're seeing what they're seeing and seeing what they're supposed to be seeing and getting the ball where it's supposed to be. So uh, I think experience, I think the more reps that we can get at it with some of these guys uh, will improve uh, the turnover issue. But I think we just have to keep plugging away and keep working at it. It's frustrating, frustrating for them, frustrating for me, frustrating for our team. And so we just keep attacking it, talking about it trying to make sure that we uh, stay as far away as we as many of those as we possibly can. But we've got to improve that for is sure. In the conversation maybe of like taking a step back from the quarterback run game just because of the injuries that, that all these guys have kind of endured because of that? Uh, I think naturally you you have to, you know, we, you can't play scared, you can't play stupid, but you can't play scared. I think we have to be, you know, cognizant of, of who's out there and ask what we're asking them to do from a physical standpoint. like. You know, you can utilize quarterback run game and they can take care of themselves and slide and not take, a, you know, big hits like Heinrich does sometimes just trying to run through people. So I think you just, you know, it's it's went from, hey, get as many yards as you can to possibly, you know, if you can get down and take care of yourself, get down and take care of yourself. With Sims, is it is it more about decision making because he does have experience? Uh, I think it's it's decision making within our offense, not, not being in this offense, uh, you know, a long time. And. You know, he got two games early. It's, he's been, you know, sitting on the sideline now for a couple of games and coming back in. It's like restarting a season for him. So uh, it, it's ultimately decision making, you know, by all of us. But you know, I think that you know he's he's committed. He's out there today. Had a great attitude, good energy about him. He's committed to going out there. And obviously, nobody wants to throw interceptions. And uh, so I think he's working, this, you know, very diligently at making sure that we're prepared and those don't happen. Play to win the game. Like we don't, we can't let exterior factors affect anything that we do from practice, from preparation to the way we play the game. Uh, I'm going to kind of go off on a tie, not a tie right here, but like it, it's we may not be playing at an elite level right now, but I, you know, you all don't see what I see as far as how they come to work and the energy that they practice with and the preparation that they do. 
uh, teammates that they are. Uh, it's really cool. This group is, is getting better and better and better, and our best days are ahead of us, and I think that they're coming soon. And I can't wait, you know, to see all this come to fruition, this hard work. You know, I, I just am really proud of the way that they're, they're attacking this thing, you know, because it's not easy and, and they're not making excuses. They're just getting up and attacking it every single day, and I, I applaud them for it. Well, early on when you're young, it's like everything else. You want to just show up and learn some football plays and put them in and everything work perfectly and get a lot of yards and score 60 points a game. And you realize that it's a process. Sometimes the process happens faster, but it's a process. And it's, it is day by day. And it is hard and it is tough. So it takes special people to do those processes. And you know, Coach Rule uh, is one of the best at it. Hey, you guys had to go to a third quarterback on Saturday. So that you know, obviously that can happen. Now, who do you get ready behind Chubba and Jeff? We're getting all three of them ready, and that's not coach talk. I mean, we, we have to have, as, you, as, as we all saw on Saturday, like we're going to have to have all three of them to try to help us move the ball and score points. So they all have to be ready. It may not be all of them getting the same amount of, of reps physically, but mentally they've got to get every single rep that takes place this, this, this week in practice. So yeah, you'll let's you'll decide, you'll decide late in the week who, I mean, they can't, it probably won't take five or six on the trip, right? So No, no, no. no we'll, I mean, those three are the guys that are, we're going to get ready to go play the game and, and you know, get Heinrich as healthy as we can possibly get him where he can go out there and, and contribute in some manner. And they can all do different things. They all have different skill sets. So they're all three going to have to get out there and help us, you know, move the ball. Uh, I'm not, I don't, sometimes we just take three on the road because you have the travel limitations on, and it just depends, I think, on just, our you know, a status of, of all three of those guys, making sure that all, if all three of them can get in the game, then I'd say we'd just go with three. Now you got a big taste of the Big Ten. What, what are the impressions? What, what impressions have you got from it? Uh, it's like, I mean, it's like when I, when I was in South Carolina last year, if I thought of the Big Ten, it's what it is. I mean, big, strong, physical. Uh, the defenses are unbelievably sound, and they make you work for everything. The details of, you know, getting the ball out and just playing third down defense, red zone defense is just, it's very impressive. I think the coaching is, you know, at a very high level in this league and the players are, I mean, there's no, it's, there's no question this is one of the toughest leagues in the country and week in, week out, having to play these defenses is grueling mentally and physically. How has Emmett Johnson, Emmett Johnson grown over the last back half of the, the schedule here and, and maybe just kind of taking that opportunity? Um, start and kind of be the guy. Yeah, he keeps getting better. Uh, keeps working at it. As we said last week, we got to get him more touches, you know, consistently get him more touches. And we did that last week. And I think it paid off for us. You know, it was a nice run he had there at the end of that final drive. And I think his role keeps growing and his touches keep increasing. He's doing a, a really nice job. What challenges in particular does Wisconsin's defense pose? Uh, just, I mean, just like I just said, they're big, physical, run to the football, play great team defense. Uh, they got two linebackers that fly sideline to sideline that are older guys that have played a lot of football. They've got five or six guys that play defensive line that look all the same. I mean, they're all just big, physical, just just hard to move. Like they get their feet in the ground, they're hard to move them. They got, you know, two good, really good corners, one leading the league in interceptions, I believe. Uh, so you got to make sure you know where he is, and you know they just their scheme is very sound, and they they make you have to play football and, and earn your yards and earn your points. What are the challenges of just the next two games for you playing Saturday night, getting home real late Sunday, or early Sunday morning, but having to play short week Friday? How challenging is this uh, to kind of close the season um, with almost two less days of recovery when you get back so late on Sunday? Uh, it, it will be, a, a, I guess, a little bit of a challenge just from a time standpoint, but I think we'll get ahead a little bit this week. And by the time we get back Saturday night and uh, get in the office on Sunday, we'll get put this game up, put this game away and get started on uh, our next opponent. And it will be a little bit quicker. And then with the, the holiday, you know, you kind of lose half a day there, you know, which is good getting to go home and, and do Thanksgiving. But we'll figure it out. We've been doing it for 20 something years now, so we'll figure it out. Uh, I think that, you know, he's, he's on, he's a, a great leader. He's, this is his program. Uh, everything goes through him and we all have our, we, we all have our own, uh, things that we do, you know, daily and throughout the game. So I'll have to get better and I'll have to improve on. Thank you.